Well, howdy, partners. This is going to be a very short one. <laughs> I just found some a uh, little bit of um, a little bit of um, a few little bits and bobs. Um, I didn't bring any food with me or anything like that. I, I probably got enough water on me. Uh, I just get him waiting for me app to come up a minute. Just to check this is recorded, otherwise this would be a waste of time. You don't want to do that. So press it, but it takes half an hour for it to react. <laughs> so I'll just uh, get the app up just to make sure it's recording. Um, it's very rare that it doesn't, but um, you never know. This could be the first. <laughs> right. Tell me a second. Um, I should, I should, um, you know, I should, I should do this more efficiently, really. Shouldn't I? Seems odd, odd how uh, this app works, to be honest. Maybe they're going to put this right. Right, there we go. We've got the LI feed up. We've got a nice picture. We presumably got sound. I did have, I have adjusted the sound, so I don't know if that will make things better. Right, we got um, that, and we got the chat up. Okay. Yeah, it's really quite a short one. I went back into the Altera class ship, the, uh, I think it's called the Aurora. Went back in the burning one. I just picked up this odd couple of things. I found one more thing that I, I scanned in, I think, and that was a wall shelf, uh, which was in that canteen area. There was a little wall shelf there. So I scanned that one in, picked up the odd couple of bottles and, and, a, and, and a bag, I think. So, but apart from that, didn't really find anything else. But I've been searching around that whole area where the crash ship is, just to see if there's like a drill arm or anything like that. And I didn't really find anything. It was mostly just sort of scrap. But I did go inside um, a, um, a wreck that was down there, which was at the sort of far end, near, near the, the back end of the, uh, the ship. And um, there was a little... Uh, a little thing to be repaired there so i repair it so i could open the door i went in and and hang on i press the wrong button there uh i'm waiting for the th oh because right and i d did find some a couple of things so let me just show you those so i did manage to unlock another couple that i missed uh i think there was might have been one one in the uh, back in the ship. I didn't. I didn't want to show you all that again. It dragged on a bit as it was because I lost my way. I'll try and cut that section out if I can, but it does take a long time to do all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I found a single shelf. Okay, and and wall shelves. So I found that in uh, inside the thing, apart from the, the counter. But I also found a coffee vending machine. Um, just as I was looking around this area, I found a coffee vending machine. All right, and these are all the things that we got before, so you know about all that. Um, I don't think that was that there was anything else. I'm pretty sure that was all of it. So this is why I just called this this video bits and bobs. It's not gonna be very long. Probably like ten minutes, quarter of an hour. Although, you know me, I might drag it out. <laughs> but I think that was it. I did find. Um, I may, may have found. Uh, but what I did is I found this. Okay, and I noticed there's some things in there. Alright. Am I inside the... Uh... No, I'm not inside the thing. <laughs> right, and I noticed you know, there's, a couple, there's a car in there. So I thought I'd, I'd, start, I'd stream this. Oh, alright. Okay. <laughs> right. I've also got stuff in storage as well. So I picked up a couple of bags. I brought the... St I, I swapped in the storage. Um as well uh, and there's one on the you know there's one on the top like we saw there's one you know on this top end here there's, there's also a, another one which can go in here uh, and then i found out actually that you can get multiples and also i saw this so i thought oh, this is all new stuff we oh oh yeah my inventory is full yeah that's the trouble uh, so i've been dropping this actually um, I found some cave sulfur just purely by random because someone went, you know that thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, it's this microscope thing. Oh, it's non-functional, but it is a telescope. 
So I may as well look around here because this is at the back end. This is where um, I looked all around where that, you know, the vicious giant thing is. Um, it came sort of close, but then I pressed the old beam thing and he sort of swam off a little bit. Oh, yeah, see, I'm full of inventory, so I might drop the scrap, actually, because that's using up four slots. Whoops. So I thought I might as well show you the new stuff, rather than just do it and then just show you next time, which probably would have been easier, but... You know, it's a car now. I mean, we got a ship, we got a car. Plus, is this as well, look. So I thought, you know, I might as well start streaming this. As soon as I, ca you know, I saw this, I thought I'd better come in and start streaming it, for goodness sake. An unusual doll. <laughs> that might be me. So, yeah, it's all, I thought, I thought, you know, well worth streaming it, even though it's going to be rather short. A grey cap. That's a different cap, isn't it? And there's also something to repair there, by the look of it. I wonder if this is actually a thing we can use. And then there's also a PDA. So let's have a look at this. PDA data. Tell me, I mean, if the voice is the voice in the game, the sound, game sound is uh, louder, please everything. let me know. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are Oh, hang fried. on, I've got the TV sound on. Seconds. can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a get battery? On get on with it. Here, have a children's toy. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to die if I stay out here, so... <laughs> Let me get the oxygen first. <laughs> Probably don't need the light on. Let me just real refill that. I do, do get a very long time now, so I tend to... Oh, bashing that thing. Right, uh... Let's g well, why don't I just do it in the ship? I've tried everything. Numbskull. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. Can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. <laughs> so, so it's a new one of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, right, let's keep the old scanner on because. Uh, yeah, there might be something. It looks like there's something to repair there, but I think that is it as opposed to scanning stuff. Right, so let's put the torch on here and then let's repair this. Uh, oh. Oh, it's not repairable. Okay. Well, it looked like it was repairable. It said... I thought it said... Um, Used the scanning tool thing. I also got that wrong. It'd be nice if you had a, an, you know, another one of these, wouldn't it? A spare one, you know, like just here. Although it's a bit dangerous. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that, and then I'll, I'll go back and I'll show you any, you know, any of the other stuff that I may have found. But one thing I did find out. Um, I was watching somebody. Um, about some of the, some of the upgrades. Yeah, I, I I am very near the um. You know the actual sh crash ship here, and I'm going round the the back where the dangerous creature is, where that really big one is. So I'm kind of in that region, but I've moved away from the back end. I'm at the the reverse end of it, and I, I've just yeah I've just sort of moved away a bit. And I thought I don't think I've really gone in this direction. So I thought I'd come down. Have a little look, and then I found this crash crash ship down here. And I thought, hello, you know, like you do. Hello, hello, hello. I thought, hello. So, may as well look down here. And, you know, they, I've got my defence system. Because you never know what you might find. And it's very deep. And I'll tell you also what else I found was... You know, as we were getting towards the ship and I was looking along the sandbanks and things and all that lot, I went down the very deep side of the channel, you know, a bit kind of like this, you know. I went really deep and guess what? I picked up loads of lithium and those shale ones, which was those darker rocks, would give you the higher level stuff. Okay? So I picked up probably about five lithium 
I picked up some diamonds, all coming from that, uh, <laughs> it's three of them, but that soon put pay to them, didn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, now I am glad I'm recording, because this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the caves. Right now, you can't go in here now. Oh God, I am nearly near. I am near. Oh goodness me! I, it's, this thing's going to smash in a minute. Let me very quickly repair it because I took. I took. Oh no! Oh, I got to repair this fast. Right, let's get in it quick uh, and put the defence on. Yeah, this is one of the, uh, these underground cave things. And I took the whole, um, you know, the, the whole, what do you call it? The whole defense system out. Okay, so, oh no, I have got the shield on. I tell a lie, I've got a shield on. But I took one of the things out. I think the en engine efficiency so that I could um, put inventory on it. All right, I'm gonna fire this again just to keep them away and hope they don't attack this ship while I'm gone, because I'm pretty sure they only attack you, Temper. So I, I'm hoping this is going to stay there. It's not a great amount in the... But this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the cave entrances, and this will have new stuff. Now I'm hoping that is going to be safe while I'm gone. So I'm going to do a save, <laughs> and I will reload that save if it all goes wrong. And I don't even know if I've got food on me, because I thought this was going to be a very short stream. And there's actually nothing on me. <laughs> Not even food. So this will have to be quick, all right? And hope. But there, look, it's uh, a new cave. We're going to do, I'll, try, I'll just uh, scan a few things. Okay. I have noticed that, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I haven't scanned in this, so I'm, I'm going to start scanning stuff, because the odd one does, um, you know, unlock materials and things. Uh, oh, I haven't, have I got the uh, repulsor? I have. So let's put the repulsor on then, if we're going to get these guys. I think I've scanned that thing. Which is probably the thing I just... Oh, <laughs> I just did that. It only seems to do like organic life things. But yeah, this is one of the uh, underground caves. And we, I, I know there's some in this. And I probably visited a couple of these while I was um, playing on PC. I went into, I went into a couple of these. Uh... But as, as, you, as I said, I'd never finished the game, and I would like to finish it. And I, I didn't know, actually, that you could build this craft. Is that a machine-looking one? Well, this is uh, new, isn't it? So I thought I thought you might like to see it. So I'm glad I am streaming it now because this is all kind of new stuff, isn't it? I mean, it, it might be disappointingly disappointing, but <laughs> we'll soon find out. What is down there? It's, uh, might be worth having a very quick look down there, but. You notice we're not losing ox we're not losing uh, you know oxygen because this yeah look these are actual metal ones these are not organic ones oh I should have scanned it I'll tell you what I'll scan it um, let me scan this thing yeah look an alien robot <gasps> And if you part, only partly scan it, uh, I'll look at that in a minute. If you only partly scan it, it doesn't matter. Um, 
um, it still continues on. So if it's, say he sort of, you know, you were scanning it and then it, it shot off, you know, it moved away. And then when it comes back in, it continues from where it left off. So you don't have to re-scan it all over again. It just continues uh, from from before. So at least, it, you know, you don't have to keep re-scanning all the time. It just adds each bit onto the next bit. Okay, so let's scan these. Let's see if this is anything. Now, this might be just, you know, nothing here. Because uh, sometimes there are nothing, but there are sometimes things in here, or things you can scan at least. So, do, I mean, yeah, it seemed to do metal and uh, other stuff. Not what Speckler does, actually. I'll read that. Right, this device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Purpose? Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien devices, uh, facilities, and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Oh, I see. So it's not actually some of the attacks, is it? Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls and ceilings with reasonable speed and appears to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based res power reserve ensures this continu it continues to operate. Assessment. Immobilize and return to Altera for mutual profit. I think I can pick it up, can I? It's a... I not what a speckler does. Um, I, I think I... Scan the... Uh, yeah, if, if, best way is to close all these and then you can very quickly get to it like that. Yeah, I, I have thought... Yeah, I, I, I did that um, when I was just... When I went... Before I went back to the... Um, the ship. Uh, there, there wasn't really anything extra I found. I just found that shelf, that wall cabinet thing. Uh, it was the only new things. The other things were just just to, I picked up a couple of the bottles and things. Uh, see the bleeder uh, incapacitate. Oh, that's that thing that takes big chunks and sort of attached itself to me and started biting away at me. <laughs> that one. So, right. Uh, a brittle... Uh, Land plant containing large sports generates a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act to reward our predators or even encourage pred predation as a means of spreading the spores. Okay, so that's all that. Um, what do we unlock there? But yeah, it looks like we can actually build then a launch vehicle to escape the planet. Because I've never played it to the end, so I didn't know what the ending is. But now that we're saying about we've got an alien, you know, some kind of infection, so we cannot control that thing. If we can stop the thing shooting them down, we can create an unusual doll. <laughs> uh, oh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, warning local radiation at maximum tolerable level. That was... Um, where the reactor was inside the ship and the drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision do not attempt repair so but apart from that there was nothing really new that I found there so it looks like there's absolutely nothing here but apparently there's a few of these uh, I'm not sure how many but some of them do seem to have like things you can scan in it uh, and, and we've already scanned this arch thing but it seemed to be just like Interesting curiosities, I suppose. Now, I could always go down there and have a look. If I can get down there. In fact, we might have run, might be better. That's if I can get down there, of course. I mean, I might not be able to get down there, but... Oh, I can. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I thought I might as well show you this. This is uh, kind of new stuff, isn't it? Uh, let's put torch and put torch on there. Uh, right, let's have a look around, make our way down there. You know, it might be worth doing it because we may find something. So that thing then doesn't really do any harm. 
Well, it just did harm there. I'm sorry, but that just did me harm. So we are going to get rid of it. Didn't it say it didn't say it was just just you know. <laughs> didn't it say it was all right? I haven't got any food. But look, I've got a little microscope of that and a cap, a grey cap, and a cylindrical thingy. So I may, oh, actually, I better do that. And that might, I might have to just do this quick then. Oh, yeah, whenever you run, um, obviously it does that. Uh, it looks like there's nothing down there then. It don't look like there's anything interesting, come to think of it. It just looks like... Is there a way down there via this? I mean, it looks like there's a way down there, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like up there. The trouble is I'm just very... You know, I am running out of food there. Don't look as though there's a lot here. And those things are becoming a little bit of a pain. And I don't really want to die, not today. Where'd he go? So, oh, goodness sake, where is it? I can't see it. Let's go up here a minute. Don't want it nibbling away at me. So, I suppose I better go. What, what I might do is, um, is, is, is have another, another look tomorrow. Um, because it's, it's got a night time here, it's quite late here. And, and if there's anything to report, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But, it doesn't look close anywhere there. There's kind of light there, but... Okay, so I better get back. Uh, I've got to find a way back now. Uh... Oh, here we go. Try not to... Oh, please don't get stuck. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, why did I do this? I think it's up here, isn't it? No? Well, there's the e exit there, so if I head in that general direction, Emergency. should be Starting okay, shouldn't it? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting back there. So, <laughs> so I think that will do. Let me get out of here. Pretty fast. As I just start going really, really slow, we don't want that again, do we? I mean, it doesn't look like it leads anywhere, but I could mark it, but I haven't got anything to mark it with. Hopefully, it's still intact. This thing, they do tend to, I think, follow you as opposed to the croft. Welcome aboard, Captain. And and then we we'll just check it's on the defence system. So that is in a. If you get if I get back up to the top, and just. Just try and remember which direction this is, say from the pod, which is the zero point, and then I'll better get back really fast. Uh, and I'm not doing it very fast at the moment. And then have a snack. Uh, right, where are we? Yes, this thing keeps bobbing up and down. It's a bit hard to see at the top. <laughs> As you can see, so it's, it's sort of at the exact rear. Right, let's get let's get back quick. Uh, and then I made a very slight, so a couple of slight alterations to um, the base. Okay. There's somebody watching, I think. So uh, hello, ho hope you're enjoying. I'm just I'm just doing little bits and bobs. Just a short stream, probably about half an hour at the most. Uh, I, I just found extra couple of things in the. Uh, that I missed in the burning ship there. I just picked up the ones that were left behind. Like a, I think it was a bag, uh, a, a shelf, and a a wall shelf or something. Um, picked out a couple of bottles or something. Although I ended up drinking them, I think. <laughs> and um, 
yeah, and, uh, I think that was it. And then just found that wreck and went inside there and we just found a car, a cap, a grey cap and uh, something else. You've probably already seen it. Probably repeating what I've already said. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how long you've been watching. Make a shame to have a nice short one, wouldn't it? <laughs> this game does try to creep you out. Yeah, well, I, I found out also the developers of this game, uh, which was, the game eludes me, but it's something like uh, it's Unknown Worlds. I think it was Unknown Worlds, something like that. I think that might be the name of the, the, uh, the company. Unknown Worlds, something like that. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, they were saying about how there was some, you know, shooting, shooting in America or something like that, and uh, and, and that prompted them to do a non-violent game. So that's why there's no weapons where you can kill stuff. I mean, really, the only weapon in this game is actually the knife, because the other one sort of throws stuff. But they didn't want to do anything with guns, anything like that. Now I did put a, a bit on the top there, okay? Put an extra couple of panels there to strengthen it. And I put a reinforcement thing on there. Because what I wanted to do with this was to do a stairway leading to the top. Uh, and I'll leave it here a minute. Uh, because I'm in a hurry to get food. All right, so the entrance now is right right by this. So it's, it's, a, it's a better way in really. Because we come straight in to the actual thingy. Uh, right, let's quickly put stuff away quick. Before I die of a heart attack, uh, titanium in there quick, as quick as I can. But I, yeah, I started to use up a lot of that titanium in there, and let's quickly get some food quick. Before I absolutely die. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Just do that. Don't eat the uh, caves uh, thing, obviously. Uh, so I'll do it as quick as I can. Right, that'll do. It's just stabilised. Right, um, so yeah, so uh, I was going to put, put a ladder there, but if you try and put the ladder there, it won't work. It, 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 you've got to sort of push it up towards that, and then it goes green. But it won't go green, and i got a feeling it's because this is in the way. Uh, so what I was thinking was taking these out, but if you click on it, and you go over here, you, you can't actually transfer these out. You can't take them out once you put them in. So what I thought I would do is where the observatory is here, I'll put one in here, look like this. Okay, thinking I'll transfer it all to that because it'd be a nice sort of, you know, nice bit of sunlight there. <laughs> um, but you cannot... Um, Take these out. So the only thing I can think of is maybe. So I wonder if I can get a seed. If I could take a seed from it, although I think it just just not really doing it, is it? Well, if I could take one of those, and I take one of those, I could plant that in there. And then I can, and then I can move that, and then I may be able to get the st the stair in. All right. I mean, it, it might take a little, you know, a little minute to to grow, but I'll uh, I'll sort of remove the the others. I'm not too worried about the Ming plant, but I wouldn't mind picking the yeah pick up that. So at least I can go to those three. The Ming plant, I'm not that particularly bothered about, to be honest. And I have got a spare one of those plants anyway, so. Um, the other one I want to put in there is obviously, so sorry, sorry it's getting a little bit dull, but the other one I want to put in is this one, so I could do it, um, a seed at that. Although, uh, have I already done that or have I done the potato? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, let me just double check which one I put in there. The bulbo, the lantern, and the Chinese. Yeah, okay. So uh, what I might do is do a second bulbo because they give you the water. Well, I think 
All right, so now that's growing, I could just let that grow. And when they're like fully grown, then um, I'll reclaim this one, which will destroy probably everything that's there. Uh, and then I might be able to get this ladder in to go up to the top, because I have seen people put put those round ones on top of each other, and then I can have that, say, the bedroom, and then I can uh, kit it out with all sort of, you know, a, bed, a nice bed and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and we could put our little toys in and put shelves up and all that. So I have like a little a little area where we can go down and relax. <laughs> all right, so that's what I've done anyway. And then I, the carrier bag I just lumped on the floor there. It doesn't seem to increase your inventory from what I can see. So, you know, it doesn't seem to do that, unfortunately. I, I just take that, just take a drink. Just so that, you know, when I come back, you know, I'll be pretty much diced up. All right, and then I'll throw in these little items. Although it's not really a tool. It's not exactly a tool, is it? Uh, I'll have to do a new cupboard for bits and bobs. What I've done is, this one here is now the odd oddsies. Like batteries, all that kind of stuff. So actually, I'll could put it in there. So I'll put these in here for a minute. These are like little odd, odd things for a minute. So I'll put all that on there. So and then these two are the titanium because I've been using a lot of titanium because I've been um, you know doing a little bit of building outside. Uh, uh, what else can I, have I got to put away? Cave cave sulfur. I noticed I didn't have any cave sulfur, so I also got a couple of those. Um, yeah, there, there's the main one, so I don't have to worry too much about the main one. It doesn't really give you anything anyway. It's just purely decorative, and who wants that kind of rubbish? <laughs> All right, so there, there you go. That's, uh, that's that's what I found. That's we've gone through everything that we've uh, discovered. So I say, as I said, we'll just recap. We got the we got the uh, the I think a nuclear trash can from the thing. Uh, I got a single bed, double bed, a bench, uh, and we already got the desk. Uh, and yeah, and then there was a, like a, a yeah a coffee thing. I'm trying to build this actually. I'm going to build that because that gives you I think one or two bottles per day, so we wouldn't even have to bother about the uh, anything else. Uh, I don't think there was anything else I got because I still can't find the prawn suit thing. But we should be able to build this. We only need two aerogel, and we got these stuff that we can turn into aerogel. We got the rubies, we got the diamonds, and we got the lead and that. And I'll just show you what I what I did pick up from that um, when I went back. I picked up a load of uh, about yeah about four or five lithium. Um, I went. I got an extra couple of magnetite. I think one diamond, and I think a bit of gold. And I, I think I scanned the shale, and the shale, you know, gives you lithium, gold, or uh, what was the other one? Liquid gold, lithium, gold, and oh no, gold and silver. I think is for the uh, the darker brown one, and the really dark one, the shale one, and uh, gives you lithium, diamond. Yeah, lithium and diamonds. I think. All right, so that's that's all there is for today. Okay, just a short one. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for watching, and put the like on or the follow, whichever you do, if you like it. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye now. And then I'll save that. It always takes a while for it to save, so that's, that's a good way that I can just go onto that. And then I can uh, grab it and say, uh, guess what? I'll see you later. And, I'll, and then I'll get ready for bed. Good night. Bye, everybody.